Great evening, everyone. Welcome to another segment of the Masterclass Marathon. Always excited to be here in the building on Instagram Live, sharing information with all of you. So let's see. Okay. I was just looking for my graphic to grab for you guys to put on the screen. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So I'm Coach Tamika James. Uh, I am a um, former cosmetologist. Currently, I'm a life and business coach. I want to talk about some of the shifts that I've had in my life and in my business and how I had to make new decisions about whatever was going to happen next. So some of you who may be listening tonight, you may have... Um, been thinking about what else can I do? Um, how do I proceed moving forward? All of the all of the things that we actually start looking at, especially at the top of the year. So if you guys are sitting home and it's January, of course, for you, and you've been saying to yourself, what else can I do? What else should I do? How do I proceed forward? Should I continue doing what I was doing before? If you're asking yourself these questions, what I want you to do is begin to sit down and just be very I just get pen and paper and I start writing down anything that comes to mind and I'm I'm asking for you guys to do this because when you're not sure you have to let it out and then you have to stare at it and then you got to make sense out of what it is that you actually have written on this piece of paper. So if you are considering to make any type of shift in your life and in your business, this is where um, I started and this is where you start. Now, um, I do help others with this type of work, which is why I wanted to share it today. So now that you have this pen and paper, you got all of these thoughts about what you could do. We have to now start making sense out of everything since out of all of the, the things that are on the paper, what does it take to do the thing that you just wrote down? So if you are unsure, you have to begin to break every single thing down so that as you, I'm trying to accept Mimi. Um, all right, it says Mimi is unable to join. I don't know why it's doing that, but Mimi, try again so I can get you in here. Uh, let me see. All right, I think the button is available now. Okay, so back to what I was saying, guys. So the pen and paper, we write everything down and now we look at each individual thing and we literally have to break it all the way down. Uh, what is required? What kind of money does it take to do the thing? When I say what kind of money does it take, guys, even when we think um, it won't cost that much, there's always going to be something attached to doing something new. Either you will need to um, buy new equipment, you need to learn something, you need to uh, maybe get some new software, all sorts of things have to come into play for you to do the new thing. Um, even if you're adding new services to your menu, what is it that it takes for you to be able to do the next thing? Oh, man. Okay. Let me see. Maybe it's going to let Mimi come in now. All right. So when I think back to the days that I was... Um, Oh, man, guys, it's crazy. I'm trying to speak and I'm trying to let me meet in. Uh, it's a lot happening right now, y'all. I don't even know. My alarm is going off and I hope it doesn't come back again. Goodness gracious. Guys, this, this is the stuff that happens on live and we just have to accept it and keep going because what else are we going to do? All right. You lost video and audio. Okay. You want to try again? Oh my goodness. Try, try, try again. We never give up. Okay, guys. I was saying to figure out what does it cost for you to do the thing. Thank you so much, Stacey, because I don't know. But let me tell y'all, real talk, um, I, this weekend, y'all, I was having my best life, okay? One of my friends, um, it's her birthday this weekend, and we've been, we've been really, really partying. Can I tell you guys that we didn't come in, in until, okay, come on in to, to another device. Um, I'm all the way uh, 46, and we were acting like we were teenagers this whole weekend, y'all. And the thing that I really want to share with you is that you can have your best life if you just move forward. So we um, have been hanging out for the last couple of days. My friend lives about close to an hour away from me. I live in the Miami area, so does she, but we live about an hour apart. 
And uh, basically all we did was hang out in the, the heart of Miami this weekend and we had our best life. And I want to share with you that we had our best life because the way that we set our life up, um, y'all see, I just w w washed my hair. So that's why I'm wet right now. Um, but we were able to just connect on Friday. And in my past life, I would have had to not be able to go and hang out because I probably would have been still at work on Friday. And then Saturday morning, I would have gotten up and I would have gone into my salon to service clients. And then I would have not been able to get off until later. And then I would be tired, which was usually how it was because I stood up and I worked and I did a lot of things throughout my life. I had a really good life, but where I'm at right now and how I move and how things are, it's just a totally different life. And we were able to just hang out the whole weekend. So y'all, we didn't get back in until 7 a.m. this morning. I don't know what in the world. I told y'all we were acting like we were teenagers. I mean, for real. We were grown teenagers though. You know what I mean? Like real grown adults having adult fun but you know so anyway um when you decide that there's something another type of life that you want to live you can totally have it so as a life and business coach one day i woke up and um i just realized that i just didn't want to do what i was doing before i knew that there was a different type of life that i wanted to have and i started to seek all of the information that I needed in order to move forward. So I was telling you a little while ago about if you're gonna make a shift, you have to write everything out, see what's required. So for me, um, back, uh, it was on about three years ago, I would say, I knew that there was something new that I was set to be doing and I started seeking all of the information. So I went to the Tony Robbins conference and it was all about personal development. And I knew that that was the direction I had to go in first because I really needed to really uh, decide on if that was like something I wanted to do. I wanted to see more of how he did things because Tony Robbins worked with uh, like thousands of, works with thousands of people at once. So the one thing that I realized was like, I went to his conference and they kept saying that there's 12,000 people in the building. And I was trying to understand how in the world is this man doing this work from a stage and it's 12,000 people in here and we're all like receiving, we're all um, like learning more about ourselves and making these choices about what we're going to do next with ourselves. And that was the moment in time when I went there for a reason, but that was the moment in time when I really understood, okay, uh, I see what he's doing. I see a little bit of how he's doing it. This is for real what I want to do. So when I said to you earlier, you have to see how do you move forward. You have to write down what you want to do, and then you have to see what's involved. So for me, it was involved, you know, it involved going to a conference, you know, and um, and then you have to decide at what level are you going to get help. Hey, um, beauty bookkeeping. All right. So uh, you have to you have to start moving forward, and most things that you're going to do next are not going to be free. There will be a few things which are that you know you can think but outside of that there's going to be a cost somewhere so i want you to figure out what you're going to do next what is required um also how much time does it take to get into the next thing that you're going to do if you're having a shift in your life also understand that most things are not going to be overnight so when you think that this shift that you're having these these new things that are going to come into play in your life are going to happen just like this usually that's not the case and I, and I have to tell you guys this because when I shifted from being behind my chair as a stylist, and I did a lot of other things, y'all. If you go back and look me up and look up my history, I've done a lot over the years on this earth. But I never really, um, I never really just did one thing. I'm going to tell you guys. So when we hear this, do one thing. I understand it to some degree, and it does make sense because you can't be all over the place for real, for real, but all at the same time. Once you do something, you master it, you get that thing together, you get it up, running, and all of that, then you can add other things on. So for me, um, you know, throughout my entire life and career, I started writing books uh, from years and years ago. Once I understood how to do that, I duplicated the process and I wrote several books. And I got to the point where um, people were asking and needing information about it, and I had done it several times. So I made a course on how to write a book. 
And even when I made the course, I, I shared it with the world. I didn't go crazy with it because I actually didn't want to be known as the person who helps people with um, writing books. That was not a thing. But I did write the course because I helped people with it. And as I was asked those questions over and over, I knew that it was something I could do. So some of the things that we do, they may not be the main thing. It may be that we have time and we have the energy, we have the means to do certain things, so we do them. So now with that course that I had written, um, I basically have it and I sell it. And basically another thing that happens with it is that it's a product that I have available. So on occasion, I may sign someone onto one of my coaching programs and then I can gift it to a person or I can put it on sale or I can add it on to something else and say, hey, when you get this, you get this. And it's super valuable because so many people have written their books from, from um, actually using my course. So guys, um, that's a, a you know some of what i've done and i hope that the things that i share that you guys are not just listening for me saying you know um join me on the journey with this that and the other i say these things because i know that someone needs to be encouraged to understand that there's so much that you can do there's so many things that um you can do but a lot of people think oh, i just only have to do this one thing i only have to do that no you don't so master something and then start adding a couple of things on. And occasionally, like I said, I'll put some things to the side after I've gotten those things together. Now, um, what else can I share with you when um, I was having a shift? I want to tell you about this pivotal moment when I knew that there was a shift. So I told you guys I went to the Tony Robbins conference and I was there for, uh, it was a four day conference, but I had to do a speaking engagement in Texas on the fourth day. So I said, instead of me not going to Tony Robbins conference, I'm gonna split my time up and I'm going to go for three days because I don't want to miss it. I was like, now is the time that I have to go to this conference. I can't wait to the next one. I need to go to this one. So what I did was I went for the three days and then when I got to the um, the third day, which was, all right, I'm trying to get me, me, I don't know what the what. All right. When I got to the third day, guys, I went back home that night and I was taking a shower and I just started bawling and crying, guys. And I was trying to understand where is this coming from? And I know I've been at this conference and it's been all about personal development. I have been writing things down. I have been answering, answering a bunch of questions. I have been thinking about throughout this conversation, all of the um, different aspects of my, my life we worked on throughout those days. And when I was answering these questions and taking a deep look at where I was and what I wanted to do next, it was just the time. And when you put yourself in that space, you are saying that this is what I have to focus on me and, and, and if you're listening take this about you know to be about you you have to stop and you got to put yourself in a space where you're going to get those questions to be asked to you and then you actually have to answer the questions and then you got to do the work and because I was at that conference and it was the time where I was doing the work on me everything came down and I just started crying and when I cried it was such a, a heavy hard cry and it was nothing going wrong in my life. That's the crazy thing. It was like nothing was bad. It was just that I was working on myself. And when I had that hard cry, I knew at that moment in time that everything that I experienced, it was the moment in time when I had to start moving forward with all the things that I was working on. There was no waiting. There was no, um, oh, put it off. Oh, you can't do this. None of that. It couldn't be the case. What it had to be was a now, a now, a now situation. So um, the next day um, after I, um, so I flew out for the other speaking engagement that I, that I had to do in Texas. And, and here's, I want to share something with y'all. When, when you, you have these shifts that are going on in your life, you got to be very careful of um, who you communicate with at that time. Because when you're feeling this thing in your body and you understand that change has to happen, you can't say that to everyone. It's, it's like you got to safeguard uh, what the change is. You got to safeguard it. So when I got to Texas, I remember walking in 
and there was another person, another beauty professional, and she and I just kind of like we are we knew each other well, and then we we kind of like we locked eyes, and then we were like, "Girl, what's going on?" And we both were in this space of shifting, and it was like a lot was changing in both of our lives, and this conference that we went to, right, that we were doing. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody has to understand every single thing that ever happens, and it happens a certain way. It happens that way for a reason. So the conference that we were doing, there weren't a lot of people there. It was not a lot going on. So we had our booths, and um, there were tables, and we were able to sit and just talk because it was not a lot for us to do because it was a few people. We had sessions that were like, what, in hour and a half each and we just got there we, we, we were just sitting there and we started talking we realized that it was a certain date and it was the date was 11 11 it was november 11 so of whatever year was the, those numbers were significant to some sort of change and we realized that was the date and it was the time that we had to do all the things that we were thinking and talking about and I didn't share this stuff with nobody else but her. And we had such a great conversation. And I just started moving forward from that day, y'all. When I tell y'all, everything happens for a reason. Everything. So there's not a lot more I want to tell you guys in this story because um, I was only meant to be here for a few minutes because I'm still living my best life. But I hope that you just heard that little short story that I told you, that I got to the point where... I knew that something had to change. I made a conscious decision to go to Tony Robbins conference. I went there. I got exactly what I needed. And another thing that I was doing when I was there, not only receiving from me, I was looking at how did he do what he did. So when I was writing in my notebook, the things that I was receiving that I was learning, I also had a certain section in my um, notebook. And it was, how does he do what he does? If you want to do anything that you want to do, you got to go to the people who are doing the thing and you need to see how they move. You need to go and get on the inside and you need to see how things are happening. Then you need to make an investment as well because everything is not just look at something like I've been seeing Tony Robbins for years, guys, but I never knew what he really did until I went on the inside of that conference. So if you're seeking information, you're looking to do something, you had better get close to and get on the inside of someone's something and get the real answers so that you'll know how to proceed forward. Because in my notebook, I had that section and I was writing down how he did everything, like how the people greeted us, how they connected to us, um, how he had different speakers. And, and see, I shared something before, and, I, and I'm doing the same thing. I've been doing this thing that I'm about to tell you about for, for years. But the things that you think you're supposed to do by yourself, you're not on this earth alone. And, and, and my UBG program is all about helping entrepreneurs, right? But I knew, and I've known this forever, that what they need, I don't have everything that they need. So I made great connections with others who have that information and bring them on board. And we all win. We all win together because they have their own space. They do what they need to do. They're making their connections and they're supporting the whole thing and all of the people. And it doesn't have to just be me. So when I was looking at Tony Robbins conference, I thought, I thought that it was mostly going to be him speaking, but guess what? I go in and he's not even there for a while. He has all of these other people that are doing different types of work for the audience, right? So they all have these different segments of um, time when they speak and they talk about different things and they help us in different spaces. Then he comes on and then he's gone. And then the, like the next day, guys, when I tell y'all, I thought it was going to be Tony Robbins all day and all night. But when I get there, I'm like, wait a minute. He wasn't even here for half of the whole second day. And then he got sick. So then other people had to switch around and do other things. It showed me that the show is not necessarily only run by one person. And as long as the people get what they need, then the people get what they need. Y'all stop carrying all the weight on your shoulders. Stop carrying everything yourself, thinking that what you're, you're doing, what you're building has to only be you. It's not true.
it's not true. And some of you who, you know, maybe you have like your, your, you have courses or you have programs and different things, the weight doesn't have to only be on your back because you probably don't have everything that your people need anyway. You just don't. So, um, you know, figure out what it is that you're doing and then determine um, who your audience is, determine what your audience actually needs, and then figure out who else you need to connect to to make it happen. So one of my trade shows that I did, I talk about this often, Extensions Expo. We, oh, we, it was me. I always say we like it was somebody else. It was me. But the show basically went on for two days every single year for 13 years in a row. And the only way that I felt like I could help the masses of the beauty professionals with all of the hair extension techniques and learning about business and taking themselves to the next level was to bring other people on board. So one day, same thing I told y'all to do when I started this live, I sat down and I just started thinking about what else can I do for this industry? How else can I actually really move forward and do some new things? And I realized I decided that I wanted to be the household name for hair extensions. I made that choice and then I became that. And because I was that, I said, it's still not all on my back. So let me see how I can support everyone. And I said, how do I do this? And I sat down and I created a name for a trade show. And then I called up my friends who had different types of information. Someone that taught cutting, someone that taught business, someone that taught color. Because I said, when these people do extensions, they still need all of the other things. So once again, the weight wasn't going to be just on my back. And I called them up and I said, would you guys like to join forces and come in? And I want to do this trade show. I will be doing this trade show. Would you like to be a part of it? And I don't even remember how many people that came in on board in the initial. But I think, it, I don't know, it may have been like maybe eight or 10 people that were educators. And when they came on board, I gave them two segments and we made a show for two days. And everybody was able to win. And then eventually, like the next year, the show got bigger and bigger. And eventually over the 13 years, this was like the, the tagline of the show was that they get the extension techniques under one roof. And there were over 50 classes a day that were offered. Over 50 a day, okay? How do I pull off over 50 a day if it was just me? So think, think, think. Don't do it alone and I'll move forward. So I'm closing out for real. I do want to share with you guys uh, one of the programs that I do have available. I've been talking about this whole shift thing. Shift starts tomorrow again, okay? Again, meaning that it's a new set of people starting tomorrow. If you want to get in and you want to take who you are, develop you into the next you, you want to take a look at who you really are right now, and then you want to decide on what you're going to do next, what I want you to do is go into the link in my bio and click on shift. Join me for the next five weeks. And what will happen is these things that I've shared with you about my life and how I've shifted, I've done it so many times. I am able to help you to do the same thing. So who am I as an individual? I am this person who I, I think a lot and I help others to think a lot. So when you're sitting there and you're like, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. I help others to pull information out and decide on how they're going to expand on that thing. So this is who I am. This is who I've always been. This is why I knew that I needed to do life and business coaching because I was this person. And when I was behind my chair, I helped so many people at no cost. And I got to the point where I realized who I really am. And when you all realize who you really are and you make a choice that you're going to share that with the world and you're going to really explode that part of you, that is when your whole life will change. So someone is watching this live and you've been trying to figure out how else do I really exist on this earth? What else should I be doing? I am your girl that can help you to figure that out because you have to be asked all of the right questions. You need to also be put in a position where you're going to stop and you're going to not be able to go left and right and run around without answering a question. And then I am the one who is going to help you to break down 
what does the stuff look like that you want to do? Because some of you have to not just do anything. You have to do the most important thing. And then you also need to look at what are these other things I've been considering? Do they make sense? Am I ready for that now? This is the truth of the matter. This is what I've, what I've experienced with a lot of people. You want to do something and you think you should, but it's not your time. It's not the time for you to do that thing. But if you are not able to sit and look at what's going on in my life right now, what is it that I want to do next? And how do all of these things fit together right now? If you don't do that and you don't do, you're not doing that safely, you're going to start doing something that it's not time for. You also might be just, um, I don't know, just wasting time, guys. But I hope you did not do that because um, some of the things that you guys are meant to do, it might be meant for you to do it next year. So we put things in perspective. We look at timelines and we really move forward with things. So I'm excited about all of what I've become um, and, and that word become. Some of you who are not sure about what you're supposed to do next, there may be a part of you that has to really work on becoming who you want to be. Nothing is overnight. Nothing is overnight. You have to become this person. If you say, I want to do this business, I want to do this, you may not have everything you need to possess right now. It, it may not be present, but if you're sure that that's what you want, we have to determine what does it take to become that person? What else do you need? What else do you need to do? Who do you need to know? Sometimes it's not a thing that you need to just do. You need to know someone else. You need to lock arms with someone else. You need to get under someone. That might be the case. Because some of the people that I know, I mean, are amazing people. And the way that we coexist on this earth is just beautiful. So um, if you are ready, come on in the shift. I got you. We'll plan out what you're going to do next. And then over those five weeks, we're literally planning. Because guys, you don't have time and um you also don't want to have an idea about doing something and it is your time and you take too long and then you watch everyone else do it and it will make you very, very sad so if you know that it's time for you to shift and to do something new and or even to grow the business that you're in because the space you're in right now the way that you're moving it's not working some of you might need to actually stop and hear some things and focus on who you really are so that you can change the way that you move so that you can be a better you to, to be able to take whatever it is that you're doing to the next level. So um, personal development is real and that's why I love it, but I love business. So that's why I'm a life and a business coach. Okay, guys, um, I don't know what we're doing next. So I'm with, with my friends. So I'm going to go back to living my best life. And um, I love the fact that I have my computer with me. So I don't even know, like, if I'm going home tonight or if I'm going home tomorrow. I don't even know yet. And it doesn't matter. And I love this part of my life because I don't have to be any particular place at any time because all I need is my computer. So um, y'all want to know how to do this and live this life? Come on. Get in shit. All right. We're starting tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you all for joining the marathon. Mimi, I don't know why you could not get in. And uh, we tried, we tried, but uh, I guess we'll see you. Now it lets you in? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I've been clicking this button all night, all night. Hey, hey, hold on one second. Mimi, it for I see you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? I don't can know. Can you hear me? <gasps> yes, I can, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, now she froze. What the heck, y'all? I don't know. I'm going to tell you. Everything happens the way it's supposed to, even when we're trying to understand. And, and now Mimi is totally frozen. I am going to... I'm going to screenshot this and I'm going to send it to her. <laughs> okay, do you guys know that, like, when I came on live tonight, um, I, I had a I had like a short message that I wanted to share. But as I was speaking, there were things that were coming out that I didn't even plan to say. I didn't plan to say any of what I said tonight. So it's just how it goes. And I believe that my message came out the way that it did because it was supposed to be the message that I shared. And that's it. Okay.
All right. Bye, guys. We'll see you. We'll see you in Clubhouse. Mimi and I will be in Clubhouse. Yep, Jonathan, I don't know what was going on. Jonathan, I'll see you on Tuesday in Clubhouse or hear you. Now, I'm pixelated. Bye. I'm, I'm out.